All right, welcome to a new version of Testudo Times after the buzzer. I'm Matt Ellentuck. I'm joined here by former Terrapins player and walk-on Jake Suskin. Welcome to the show, Jake. Thanks for having me. So Jake's back uh, with a couple of alumni today. How weird is it to be back? Yeah, uh, it's very strange. Already being a year graduate time, it feels a lot different coming back. Uh, everyone's a lot younger, we're all nine years older. Uh, it's just weird, especially with uh, my teammates not being here, not all, uh, not all of them at least. Uh, but it's always nice coming back, especially to watch them play, and it's always exciting, we're always into it. And it's just, it's fun. I saw John Graham was here, you get to catch up with him over? I did. Uh, unfortunately, I just got to see him for a couple of minutes. Uh, I'd love to see his great big smiling face. Which he was really the nuts over on the side too. Oh the yeah, monster. I saw that. He was complaining for some fouls that may or may not have been calling, but uh, uh, always nice seeing him. Uh, I was sitting next to Logan Aaronholt, uh, who was here when I think I was a sophomore when he was playing. Uh, and he was also my one of my grad assistants, so that was pretty cool. And then uh, one person who I haven't seen in a while was John Diller. I don't know if you know John Diller. So he was one of the guys who made the team. Uh, my freshman year, he was a senior when they had tryouts. I uh, played one year, I haven't spoken to him in a couple years, and uh, he came to this. He said it was only his second game since he graduated, so he graduated in 2012. Okay. Uh, he caught up with school, but it was nice catching up with him. Yeah. That's awesome. It's great to have a bunch of guys. The whole court was filled during the break. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. But, all right, let's get into a little bit of Terps basketball. Right. It's actually good that you come here, right? So we find, the Terps finally get a win. Yeah. But the past two games have been extremely rough. Yeah. What have you picked out out of the losses from Wisconsin and, and at Minnesota? So, let's start with Wisconsin. They're a good team. People have been saying otherwise, but they've shown they've had some great wins recently. Uh, and they've been playing very well. Teams start playing well during this time. So, that's what you need to be aware of. Uh, it's our first loss ever at home in Big Ten history. It's tough to say, but it's also a crazy stat. That was actually the first loss to a team with our, with everyone, with full players uh, since my junior year. So we lost to Virginia in the Big, uh, Big Ten AC Challenge without Dez and without Evan. And they were number two in the country. So it's been a while. So, you know, it happens. So, so Wisconsin was obviously a talented loss. Minnesota, on the other hand, was a team that had really been struggling. Yeah. It was pretty apparent that Maryland was probably better at all five positions. Correct. What did yeah. you see that went wrong? There? I mean, the biggest thing, first of all, you're out without Diamond. One of the best centers in the country. Uh, so already like with that, you're already playing down down a man, down one of your starters, and it might be tough for someone for the team to kind of pick up on how we're going to play without him. Uh, we're experienced, so I think that wasn't really the issue. But it's always tough to win on the road, no matter where you're going, who you're playing. Uh, any team in college basketball can beat any team, whether it's you know, the smallest, small major schools beating Kentucky, anything can happen on any day. And you know what? They hit their shots. They play very well. Uh, we had a chance to win it. Didn't go in our favor. It happens. And uh, you just kind of move on from it. Now the focus of College Park also is on Mellow Trimble because Mellow Trimble's in a slump that College Park hasn't seen in his season and a half. Yeah. Uh, and he didn't really come out of it today either. He shot, I think, 3 for 10 from the field, turned the ball over seven times, and uh, he just hasn't been himself. Is there anything that you've seen that's been different out of his game? Um, not necessarily. Uh, players go in slumps. I know that some people have never seen him do this, like you said before. Yeah. Uh, but it happens. Just you're in a rut. He's gonna get out of it. Uh, hopefully it's this season. Uh, but I, I believe in him. He's one of the best, if not the best, point guard in the country. And people have been saying that the whole year. You know, there's a lot of pressure on him as well as the team. People expect a lot out of us. That could potentially getting be getting to him. I'm not really sure. Um, but he's a smart kid. He's very. He's a very genuine kid, and it's gonna all work out. Yeah. Now you've also. I know you said you're still involved with the team. You're still involved with group chat stuff like that. So yeah. You're still in the loop with what's yes. going on. Yes. Although, although you're up in New York now. Yeah. But, 
what, what, if anything, have you seen after the Minnesota loss? Obviously, the vibe on campus was pretty down after that. Yep. Uh, did you see you know, anything come out of that loss that maybe was beneficial? Maybe sure. in the Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they, uh, I think they had like a team meeting. Uh, they've been going out on team dinners, which is uh, something new uh, before games. And then, uh, I'm not exactly sure where. But they've been doing that, so they're trying to bond a lot more. And I'm pretty sure that they had a team meeting. And they kind of just talked about probably what's going on, how we're going to fix it, and just how much respect they have for each other. That's something that we did plenty of times while I was playing. It was just when things weren't going our way, we would take kind of a look back, reflect on the season, and kind of look at what's hurting us, what we're doing well, and uh, kind of working from there. All right, so let's close it out with, with today's win also. Maryland picks up the win in what was just an extreme showing of offense, 86-82. to I'd like to even talk about Jake Lehman, who had 16 points on six shots. What did you see in him? Um, I mean, he's been one of the most dynamic players in college basketball. Everyone knew he was going to come in strong. Um, he's going to be a weapon, especially at the next level, with his size, length, and shooting ability, and also athletic uh, ability as well. Um, and he's only, what, took six shots, right? Six shots, six 16 shots. points. I mean, that's unbelievable. That's prolific. You, in that case, you probably need to get him more shots. Um, it would make sense, especially with his percentage today. Um, but he lets the game come to him. As you can see, he wasn't trying for much. And uh, there's a lot of talent on the team. Everyone can score. And I think he realized that. He realizes that. I think Melo's trying to realize that more, passing the ball. See him averaging a bunch of assists. I'm not going to the exact number. Um, but he'll know everyone can score. And uh, he's going to be fun to watch in years to come. Uh, and I'm just really excited for him. Absolutely. I'm going to pass it on to Jake now as he's wearing the Love Day shirt. You want to talk about Love Day for a little bit? Yeah. Um, so, basically... I don't know who has read the article that he wrote, but uh, <laughs> uh, basically Love Day, uh, as many of you know, uh, my team, former teammates posted on Instagram uh, the caption, Love Day, so I, I kind of took that and expanded it into, you're supposed to love the day, love life, and, and just pretty much enjoy everything that's going on around you. Uh, and then I... We kind of made it into a t-shirt so people can spread the love themselves, you know, have the uh, Maryland flag, because one, it's awesome, and uh, two, because people can relate to it, people enjoy uh, everything, basically, that has anything to do with Maryland, because it's a great place. Um, and the biggest thing about this is not only that I'm able to spread the love, so to speak, but I get to kind of help my family out, and also to people who have cancer, because I donate 10% of my uh, profits to cancer cancer organizations for cancer research. So it's something close to my heart, and it's exciting for me to kind of give back. That's awesome. We'll add the link to the end of this post. Anyway, Jake, thanks for coming on. Thanks for catching up. Next time you see ATV, it'll be in March as Maryland plays on Senior Day against Illinois. We'll check in with Jake more towards tournament time, but thanks for watching.